Ever wish you could streamline those customer support queries that runs 24 hours, seven days a week? By creating an AI voice agent, you can do just that and give your customers, be it internal or external customers, the flexibility to provide support outside the standard nine to five hours. From answering questions such as HR policies, processes, entitlements, benefits, Streamlining the employee services makes life easier for everyone. So let's dive in and see how we might go about building an AI voice agent. So here I'm using Synthflow to build my AI voice agent. So once you've logged in, you'll notice that you'll have three options to select from. So the first option here is that you can start from scratch to build your AI voice agent. You can also use the quick setup feature here, or you can browse from the existing templates. So let's click on this button. And here you can see Simflow has already created a number of templates depending upon the industry that you work in, as well as the type of agent, be it inbound or outbound agent. So in the demo today, we're going to start from scratch. So let's click on this button here. And here you'll be given three options. So you can create an outbound agent, an inbound agent, or you can create a widget and you can embed this onto your app. For the purpose of this video, we're going to create an inbound voice agent. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Synflow or other AI tools to improve your digital communication at work, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button where I'll share more tutorials like this. So let's click on inbound. So the first thing you need to do is name your agent. So in this example, we're just going to name it HR Assist. Next, you can add an image here to represent your agent, but we're just going to leave this for now. For the voice engine, I'm going to leave it on version one. Next, you want to select your AI model. So if we use the drop down box here, so here we have a number of options that we can select from. So you can select from the Synflow model, or you can use the various GPT models. So I'll just select GPT 4.0 as per the recommended AI model. Next, you'll need to upload your custom knowledge base. Now this could be a policy document or frequently asked questions sheet. So let's click on the plus icon here, create knowledge base, type in the name for the knowledge base. So here I've just typed in annual leave resources. And in the triggers section, I've just typed in when a caller asks questions related to annual leave policy, processes and procedures and then hit create. And then here we'll need to upload our file. So click add document. Synflow will now give you three options. So you can upload a PDF, add in the text manually, or you can copy and paste the link to the information available online. So in this example, we're just gonna upload our file. Select upload. And here you can see that we've uploaded our file for the AI agent to use when the caller is asking questions relating to the leave policy. And now back in the setup under configuration, click on the plus icon, select the document and hit save. And here you can see that we've attached the knowledge base to the HR Assist AI voice agent. From here, you can add in custom words. So if there's specific business terms that you want the AI voice agent to say, you can add that here, or you can add in specific words where you want the AI agent to avoid saying out loud. Here you can add in your custom greeting. So here I've just typed in a simple greetings message. So I've just typed in, hi, you've called HR Assist. How may I assist you today? Next, you'll need to add in your system prompts here. Now you can have a look at the prompt guidelines, use a template or ask Copilot to create a template. But if we click on this edit button here, so here you can see that Simflow has provided some information in terms of what information you need to include as part of the system prompts. So you need to add in some information about the agent, such as the persona, roles and responsibilities, information about the company, script instructions, additional instructions about how to handle specific actions, which we'll run through in the demo shortly, as well as any important rules for the AI agent to follow. Now, as I've already created my prompts earlier, I'll just copy and paste the details here and hit save. 
Next, we're going to have a look at the actions. So here there are a number of options to select from depending upon your use case. So here you can customize your agent. So the first one here is that you can send an SMS after the call. You can schedule a meeting or appointment if this applies to your use case. You can transfer a call to a human. You can extract the information from the call or you can create custom actions during the call by integrating this with various platforms. In this video, we're going to be looking at the call transfer function within SyncFlow. Now, this is a great feature within the SyncFlow platform that allows you to transfer those curly questions to a human agent. So you might set up an AI voice agent to handle frequently asked questions or basic level one inquiries such as policy, benefits, as well as entitlements. For level two inquiries or more complex inquiries that requires further investigation or discussion, you might have the AI voice agent transfer the call to a human. Under the call transfer section, select the plus icon, select new action. So here you need to add in the contact number. The default here would be United States, but if you need to change the country code, select the drop down box here and select the country code. Now, as I'm based in Australia, I'll just locate Australia here and now type in the phone number. Now in this example, I'm just going to type in my mobile number. And then once you've entered the phone number that you want the AI to call, select validate. And then here SimFlow will validate the contact details. And next you want to add in your prompt and let the AI agent know when you want the transfer to take place. So in this example, I've just typed in when the caller requests that they want to talk to a human or when the caller wants to talk to someone like a manager or a human resource manager or an advisor. You can also select the background music for when the call is on hold while waiting for the call to be transferred over to a human by using the toggle button here and then adding the music here. So we'll just toggle this off for now. Under the advanced section, now if you want the call to go through to an extension number, you can fill in the details here. However, as I'm setting this up to go to a mobile, we'll just skip this section. Now next, under the warm transfer section, you can select the voicemail detection option here, either by selecting ML base or time base. If you select the ML base voice detection, this just ensures that the assistant avoids transferring the calls to a voicemail. And then next you'll need to change the language code. So in this example, I'm just going to use a drop down box here and select Australian. You can also add a script here for when you want the AI voice agent to say before transferring the call. At the moment, the voice agent will say you have a lead connecting you shortly. So if you want to change this to a different message, you can simply type in your text here. So it might say something like, hello, it's AI Judy calling from HR Access. You have a caller who needs some further assistance. I'll be connecting your call shortly. Please stand by and I'll connect you. You can also add availability here. So the calls are not made to the human around the clock. So under human availability, let's just toggle this on. And here you can set the days and times for when the human agent will be available to answer the calls. And if you need to, you can select the time zone as well as include a message for when the human is not available. So the call out here is at the time of recording this video, in order to use the warm call transfer feature, you do need to use the voice engine version number two in order to utilize this feature. And then once you're done, hit save. And now back under the actions tab under call transfer, click on add. And now select the mobile number that you want to add to your AI agent. And here you can see that we've now added our call transfer to our AI agent. Next, we're going to do a quick test. So for the demo, I've already created a test phone number here. And let's dial my mobile and test out the agent. So here you can see that the AI agent is calling my mobile. Hi, you have called HR Assist. How may I assist you today? Oh, hi there. I'm just calling about the annual leave policy. Sure thing. What would you like to know about the annual leave policy? Um, so I've got 10 weeks of leave available. I was just wanting to see if I can cash out my leave. Yes, you can cash out your annual leave if you have more than eight weeks available. You'll need to get approval from your manager first and then submit the request through the HR system. Would you like any help with that process? So once I've, so once my manager has approved my leave um, and then I submit it, how long will it take for it to be approved? Once you've submitted your leave request, managers typically review it within two business days. 
If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Uh, sure. Can I speak to a human agent, please? Let me transfer you to a human. Please hold on. I'm transferring you now. Goodbye. As you can see, the AI voice agent will completely change the customer service landscape within the next couple of years. Now, I did notice that the AI agent didn't necessarily follow the script that we provided when it transferred the call. However, we can change this in the prompt section like we did earlier. Now, one of the other great features within Synflow is that you can download the recording as well as the transcript to listen to any of the calls. This will allow you to tweak the prompts or the configuration to make sure that it's working as intended. Now let me know what you think below. If you're interested in learning more about AI tools, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. In the meantime, you might want to check out the next video where I'll share more tips on how you can improve your digital communication using Copilot in PowerPoint. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.